IPOB speaks on attack on S Governor or Hakim. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has made its position known on the attack of former Imo State Governor Chief Ike Hakim by gunmen. The spokesperson of the group, Im Powerful, made the position known in a statement he issued on Wednesday. Powerful said the attack was masterminded by the political graduators in Imo State who were desperate to murder political opponents in the state to further their own careers. The attack on Chief Ike Hakim is uncalled for and we must stand tall in protecting our people. Not every politician is wicked. Ohakim is one of the peaceful people among the politicians in the eastern region. IPOB totally condemns the recent attack on Ohakim. We understand the attack was planned to achieve a political goal by the enemies of Imo indigents because they want to bring their opponents in the state down and push them into submission. I get very angry when people say it's Ibo's turn to be president. This according to Usman. Usman declared, I get really upset when people claim it's the Yorubas or the Ibo's turn. The Southeast has no experience with diversity. Ibo's are holy Christians. There's not much diversity in the Southwest. All Yorubas are either Christians or Muslims. Come to the North if you want to see diversity. The 19 states that make up the North do not contain a single dialect. Plateau, Forty, and Bonu are two of the uh, 53 dialects spoken in Kaduna State alone. We have lived with people of many racial and religious backgrounds, so we are familiar with diversity. We are on our way, Hausa would say. People get disinterested when ethnicity is brought up. Make it so. An Igbo man may become president. There is no reason why it cannot. He made it happen, just like good luck, Jonathan. It was so good to see Peter Obi enter the political sphere. 2023, Atiku clears air on using Peter Obi's image for campaign. The spokesperson for the Atiku Okowa Presidential Campaign Council, Daniel Bwara, has denied that his party, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is using the face of Pito B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, to campaign in some northern states. Bwala made the clarification on Thursday while fielding questions on the Arise Television morning show program. Daily Post has revealed a video circulating online which showed Bags of rice bearing the face of Obi with the logo of the PDP. However, Bala has come out to say that it did not emanate from the PDP. He said that it's not true to have emanated from us. Why I am saying that is because if you go to Baoshi now, people are even reporting that the governor of Baoshi state is with G5. So, could he be behind that? Certainly no.